Hi guys, it's Maggie. I am going to be showing you guys my everyday glowy, natural, sun-kissed, creamy, quick, easy makeup routine. That was a lot, but these are all of my favorite products that I'm going to be showing you guys. So fresh faced, just out of the shower, I like to apply the Too Faced Hangover Primer, of course, on top of all of my like moisturizers and creams and stuff that I already use, but this product is my favorite and it really keeps your makeup locked in and it smells like coconuts. My second item is the Algenis Reveal Concentrated Luminizing Drops. These are my absolutely, fa absolutely, my absolute favorite. These really, really, really transform your skin. All you need is one drop. Look how radiant that is. They're literally crazy. And then I like to go in with the Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint. This is one of my absolute favorite products when I'm just on the go and I need some quick and easy color on my face. It doesn't have that much coverage, but I don't really want a lot. During the day, I just want something that's gonna be like weightless and still give me a little glow. And also, if you want to have more coverage in certain areas, you can just apply. And now, to make myself look more awake, I just use the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the shade Bamboo. Warm it up with my middle finger. Lightly tap underneath my eye. Now to set my face and make sure that everything is locked in, I use the Fenty Beauty Universal Setting Powder. And I just put that underneath my eyes, on my forehead, just places where I don't really wanna look oily or shiny throughout the day. And next, of course, I need to look tan on my face. That's a must, so. We take bronzer, bronzer's our favorite. We just put it all over. And after that, just concentrating on our contour lines. <laughs> Sorry, I can't like speak, but I don't really contour that much. I just kind of try to blend the bronzer where I feel like I need it. And you always want to be moving up to lift your cheekbones and lift all the areas that you're gonna highlight. Because if you bring them down and try to smudge them, you're just gonna be making those areas instead of like lifting them and highlighting them, you're just gonna be bringing them down and that's not a cute look. So that's why we always move upward. And also another thing I do is I make three like a three motion on each side just to highlight my forehead, cheekbones, and jawline. Always remember that and then maybe a little bit on the sides of the nose just for some extra sculpting. Next up, blush always with a cream blush just because it gives a more natural and dewy look which I like and I don't know you can really like play around with it and apply it and it looks like you just got natural sun. I like to pat it into my cheeks just because the product sits well nicely on top of your skin rather than rubbing it. Most importantly, my favorite part out of my whole entire makeup routine is grabbing a little bit of extra product and just applying it to the bridge of your nose to give you the real sun-kissed look. Because you know how when you're at the beach during the summer and you literally get like sun right across your face? That's my favorite I learned from Haley Baldwin. I learned a lot of stuff from watching these Vogue videos, not gonna lie. Before I continue, I need to get my lip product. And next is eyes, so I'm just gonna take the Too Faced Natural Eye Palette and use this light brown shade called Cashmere Bunny and apply that right into my crease. And 
And then after that, of course, mascara. This is my favorite product of all time. It's the Dior Lash Primer. It just really makes your eyelashes so long. And a tip that I have is that I always take a little compact mirror and open it up and put it right underneath my eye and then apply mascara that way just because it makes them so long. So I do one eye with the primer and then I go in with mascara just so I don't dry out the primer on the other eye if I did like one eye after another. This is the best mascara ever. It's the L'Oreal Telescopic. It's gonna make your eyelashes so long. And with the lash primer, it's just gonna make sure that it doesn't flake off and everything sets in place really nicely. And I only apply mascara on the tops of my eyelashes, not the bottoms, just because I feel like I don't like the way that it looks on the bottoms for me, but I need to clean off the mascara that I got on my eye, so I will be right back. And last but not least, always, always, always have to highlight. You always need to be glowy, and there's just no going around that. It's my favorite part of my whole routine. So I just take the Milk Makeup Cream Highlighter in the shade Lit, and we're gonna get, we're gonna get lit. <laughs> so, basically self-explanatory, cheekbones, tip of the nose, and then your cupid's bow. I also like to apply some underneath my eyebrow just to brighten that area up. And a tip that I have for you guys is to always highlight your collarbones, just draw that right on, and it's just gonna look so nice all the time and so for the finishing touches lips i'm going to use the laneige lip mask this smells so good it's so hydrating and it's so glossy i really really like it a lot and it smells so good too and now to finish it off the best perfume of all time this is from anthropology it smells like vanilla it's 18 dollars and you need it in your life. Oh my God, it smells so good. So that is my finished look. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time. Bye.